Cinema 5D Video Review. So this is the new Scarlett X digital film camera and we've had a chance to use it for about two weeks. It's a very nice piece of equipment. Uh, I think it's very well crafted and I think it's very well thought through. We've heard that this camera's price is extremely competitive, but when you have the body, the brain as they call the core of the camera, you need some more accessories to be able to start using this camera. And I'll show you the minimal configuration needed. To record you need the side module. It has a slot to slide in your SSD memory cards. They sit nicely and stick out so you can see which card is in. You need these SSD cards. We've got uh, two of them and 64 gigabytes, so we can use one while we're offloading the data from the other. It fits about 20 minutes of data, so if you don't have a technician on set, you will probably need more of these. And um, also, if you don't have a powerful workstation, uh, it takes a lot of time to offload the media, so you will need more of these as well. To offload media, you need a card reader. This one is called Red Station. It took us about uh, 30 minutes to offload to Mac Pro via Fireware 800 and 5 minutes via eSATA to RAID. To power the camera you can use the DC input at the back or use the side handle. It has a battery compartment to fit red volt batteries. Each of these batteries runs the camera for about 30 minutes. There's a charge level indicator on the battery. It took 1 hour 45 minutes to fully charge our batteries, so you will need 4 to 5 batteries and 2 chargers to continuously run the camera. The side handle can also be used to control the camera. There are several buttons you can assign functions to and quick keys on top to jump to important menus. To see what the camera records you need some kind of display and here we've got the red touch LCD which also adds touchscreen functionality to quickly navigate through the menus. It is very rugged and made of metal. The provided cable is very short so you're limited in possibilities to attach the LCD somewhere else unless you've got a longer touch LCD cable. An alternative monitoring solution can be connected at the back via HDSDI or HDMI. The Scarlett X comes with a Canon EF lens mount that communicates with electronic lenses and gives you autofocus control and this information is also displayed on the screen. To attach a lens you open the lens lock and screw in your lens. Lenses sit a lot more tightly and securely than on a DSLR. Basically that's all you need to use the Scarlett X. With this minimal configuration you can start shooting in 4K. The setup as you can see it here has 3.5 kilos including the batteries. It's not heavy but it's certainly not as lightweight and easy to use as an HDSLR camera obviously. Not weight wise and also not technically because you need a second person to actually operate the camera. The images that come out of this tool are really stunning. Uh, the fact that it records raw and looks like 35mm film at this price point is revolutionary to me. In the next episode, we will, I'll show you how the camera operates when turned on. We'll look at some third-party accessories, rigging solutions, and I'll show you the PL mount. Thanks for watching. Cinema 5D.